Hello, thank you for tuning in and welcome to Angel of Divine Love. My name is Heather Aguilera and in this recording, I'm going to go over a couple offerings as we are stepping into the spring equinox and also into this whole new timeline shift that we have stepped into just to offer some support and some love as we are, you know, at a whole new time and era right now. So this is the time where we can, you know, really pull together and thank God we have our electronic devices. <laughs> we get to stay strong through prayer and through our intention. You know, take care of your loved ones as you are walking this path, this road. You know, it's kind of like this picture. It's kind of foggy. We could only see so much and, you know, but the light is there, the, the golden <clears throat> sun is there and it's lighting the way and and sometimes it's very muddy and you know and that's kind of what the collective feels like right now it's kind of just like sludgy and if we could get past some of that you know right raise above it um you know those that are around you around your energy field or you know, the, the ones that you love, keep them close, keep them safe, do whatever you need to do. Um, truth of the matter is, you know, we could see this in many different ways. And I'm not here to explain what this is about. I'm just here to bring in prayer, protection, love, blessings, and also support as we're just all going through something very different, but similar. And, you know, it's it is a little um, shocking when we go places right now. So it's okay wherever you're at and however you see this. Um, let's stay strong and pray for your elderly people and continue to move forward. So I would like to announce my first offering, which is for the spring equinox. I will be offering a free gathering via conference call. And this gathering will be held on the 21st. In order to get access to that, please email me below and I will send you the invite with the private link so we could all meet up on this conference call and meet for prayer. And, and those of you who can't show up to this um, call, um, just go ahead and email me and I will email you the the link so you could have the recording. So there will be a recording afterwards. It won't be posted um it won't be posted on YouTube, but it will be posted on Patreon. So um those of you who are interested in that, let me know. My next offering is with the moon and the womb healing. In this beautiful phases of the moon, we're going to be starting with the Aries new moon, which is on Monday the 23rd. And this brings in our whole new zodiac year. And so we're, we're celebrating that. We're also going in and healing with the womb space, healing any trauma, healing any um, ancestral lineage, energy, and also receiving activations and initiations through this process. We'll be working with animal spirit guides. We'll be working with your higher self to know how to clear and go deeper. We'll be working with the grandmothers, a grandmother of yours, to also assist and heal some of that lineage. We'll be working with the elements and learning how to pray and send blessings into the water, into the earth, into the sky. Um, this is non-denominational, so you know if you do believe in you know Buddha or Christ, uh, this is just kind of really unfolds in, into all different areas. It's going to be really a beautiful offering. I'm going to show you how to cleanse your aura and also keep your vibration high as we are you know, in this time of quarantine. <laughs> so it's actually a great time to start this. I didn't realize that we were going to be in this situation at the time that I was um, kind of guided to put this all together. So that starts on Monday, the 23rd. If you would like to be part of that, um, the information is not below, but you can 
email me. My email information is below. You could email me and I will send you the information through via email on what this has to offer and how much it is and some other details that we will be going through. So yeah, we'll be working with Elemental Tantra and just so many beautiful blessings. I'm really excited to offer this at this time. So those who are feeling the call, please email me for more information. And I just really want to also give thanks for, you know, each and every one of you for all your support and your beautiful messages that you've been posting on my videos. It's so very appreciated. I appreciate all your good vibes and, you know, your prayers and your intentions that have been coming forward. And working together as a community, especially at this time, is so important and it's very helpful for me, for your creators, for the ones that are posting out there and holding that light and, and guiding the way. Um, there has been, you know, some distortions in the field and, you know, we, we move past that. We, we work through prayer. Grandmothers are praying for us. Our guides are praying for us. Um, us as a team, when we gather and circle, we are praying for each other and that makes it stronger. So, you know, please join either the free offering for the solstice, which is on the 21st, or um, the 23rd offering with the womb and healing, ancestral healing and so many. It's going to be really amazing. I'm really excited to offer it. And we're going to go deep, you know, into the womb ministries, into the yoni, into the heart, into the elements, into really blossoming and, and strengthening through gaining courage and um, just this more you-ness and understanding the body and how it functions, especially for women. It's really important for us to do that. So I just wanted to really add that in. So one more message to those of you who are in Sacred Union Please know that there are tactics that are not just trying to um, come in between these unions, but also those that are walking the path individually and you're, you know, finding the union within yourself, that balance of the yin and yang, the balance of the masculine and feminine within, you know, know that there are some just tactics that are happening and we just need to stay strong either way really know that you have everything you need within yourself and if you need help please reach out especially at this time um, when we can really use that strength from each other if you're not in contact with your beloved uh, hopefully you know you will find some type of peace with that but those of you who are just really lots of strong protection and knowing and taking care of your beloved, taking care of them, showing them that you love them and, and honoring them and respecting them. This is just a time to really strengthen through that field, through that knowing and through your prayer. So just sending you so much love. And as I close this recording, you know, my prayers stay strong and every day and every night is very sacred to me. Who I come into contact with, either online or, you know, in my walking life, it, there's always a reason why spirit brings them in and know the same for you. That no matter where they're at in their consciousness and their walk, that it is a sacred encounter that you are holding your divine light, that you have been made for this. We have such strong, beautiful teams that are encouraging us to walk through this time. We have been, you know, doing our processing and our inner work for as times as these. And this is when we pull together, you know, online. We're very lucky right now that it's still, we still have access to our online platforms. So, you know, take advantage of, you know, all the, the blessings and offerings that are out there. So let's take a deep breath in and really feel that center, that prayer within your heart, that activation that is continuing to blossom and light up, the drumming, 
that comes from your heart space. And just breathing through that. Oh. Thank you. Many, many blessings. And I hope to see you or have you part of the womb healing or the solstice or equinox, <laughs> the spring equinox healing um, gathering that I will be having. So remember, the gathering is free. That's on the 21st. And um, the womb healing is on the 23rd. I will be announcing a little bit more on the 21st too. So hopefully, um, you know, I get to contact and talk to some of you and interact with some of you. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you. Many blessings.